guys, guess what we're gonna install today? Yeah, baby! First of all, I wanna make sure you guys go down there and hit that like button. Don't forget that subscribe button and click that bell because the upcoming videos after our weather uh, gets nicer and this crap gets out the way, we're gonna be doing some awesome Elka Stage 4 riding videos. And all thanks to Mr. John Hester at Hester's Motorsports. Make sure you go and check him out and order through him. He has great prices over all of the other dealers. Um, when I started dealing with him, he had the way best prices. Just for instance, in one of my cases, a uh, dealer wanted 275 for a brake caliper and uh, he, he was able to find me one for 150. I still haven't ordered that yet, but I need to. Um, and another instance was, uh, I was doing the door mod on the wife's 500 trail. He got me all the pieces for $80 shipped everywhere else wanted, wanted around 180 to 200. And he, listen, his prices are awesome. And just go check him out. Make sure you tell him Redneck Garage sent you. That way he knows the videos are doing their job. So let's get into this build. The tools you're gonna need today so far, cause I've never installed these. We're gonna learn together. So far is an optional Ugga Dugga gun. You gotta have an Ugga Dugga gun. If you don't have an Ugga Dugga gun, I feel sorry for you, but we are gonna use an Ugga Dugga gun. You're gonna need a 15 millimeter socket, a ratchet of your choosing, and a 15 millimeter wrench. We prefer the ratchet wrench style, but it doesn't matter. Tools are tools. You don't even need the Ugga Dugga gun, but get yourself an Ugga Dugga gun. I've had this Milwaukee uh, a little over five years, and uh, Still going strong. And this is the one we did the Chinese batteries, the $16 batteries in. These batteries been holding up mighty nicely. I haven't charged this one in about a week. It's at two bars. That's a okay in my book. So let's see how far we get before I have to change batteries. Now, come on in here, cameraman. You're gonna take for your shock. I know you guys really can't see this, but your shock's gonna have a nut and a bolt up top and a nut and a bolt down at the bottom. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get all up and personal with your machine and you're going to want to hug it, hug the tire, get up under here with your wrench. This is why you need an Ugga Dugga gun. Cause you get up under here with your wrench. Okay. Wow. And then we're going to, uh, Try and get that bolt out. Now you gotta get your Ugga Dugga gun back out. You're gonna go up here on the top. You're gonna grab your open face or closed face wrench. And you're gonna smack that Ugga Dugga. There's one CF Moto shock down. Now you're gonna grab your Elka. You're gonna take her like so. Uh oh. What we gotta do here. So you gotta bend your tabs just a tiny tad. Oh yeah. She's gonna be direct fit right there. No grinding down the tabs on this machine. You're gonna put your nut on there. machine out and get her going Now you guys are probably wondering about torque spec. I guess we should probably talk about that right now. 
what you're gonna wanna do is if you got the Ugga Dugga gun, pretend my hand is a nut, you're gonna go. And it's tight. If you're gonna use one of these, Pretend my hand is the nut or the bolt. You're gonna put it on the bolt and you're gonna go, that's tight. Those are the torque specs you need to know. No, seriously, if you're a torque nut, make sure you ask for torque specs or refer to some sort of uh, manual or dealer to find out what your normal shocks are supposed to be torqued at and torque them. Me, they're torqued. I torqued them. Ugh, dog. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put the other side on. We'll see you when we come to the front. Stay tuned. <laughs> just love how this thing sounds don't you uh -huh. so instead of letting them hear what i have to say real quick what do you think about those shocks they're smooth and you can even feel the bumps when you're when you're done fast them now normally when we travel through pot hole alley lane <laughs> you have to slow down because it, it you feel everything yeah you feel the now we may or may not have sped through town i'm pretty sure we was doing the speed limit yeah 
And if you had gotten the speed limit, we'll make sure we put something over that in the video. Because people need to trust that we were doing the speed limit. Yeah. Because I think we was. I'm pretty sure that we was. Yeah, we, yeah, Ish. we, found, yeah, we found the speed limit. So, just riding on the road, what do you think they're going to do in the woods? I think in the woods, I think in the ruts, they're, they're going to be a little smooth and bumpy trails. It's 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 not it's not a feel it's not a feel like you're um riding an airplane maybe yeah yeah so I mean you know normally when we ride through bumpy alley lane there uh it's it's really crappy it's really uh it's hard but these are right out of the box boys and uh you know I was doing the speed limit and everything um. Yeah. And I was making sure to uh, miss all the potholes. I think we missed them all. Mm -hmm. uh, but the ones that we did hit, they, they, they were feel, smooth. You didn't even feel them. Didn't feel anything. And I will say that the uh, the body roll, it don't really have body roll. Mm -mm. Like it did with the stock shocks. Did it? Mm -mm. Like it didn't lean real bad in the turns. No. So, it, I'm wondering if we put it. two inch wheel spaces on this, if we could really drive it like a trophy truck. <laughs> I mean, this is Redneck Garage. Make sure you subscribe to find out if we do. Oh, I'm seeing it now. <laughs> don't tell them that. They got to subscribe. Okay, guys. We got it installed. Total insulation. And that includes doing this video for you guys. Took me about 30 35 minutes and that you know that's with doing the video so super easy you've seen the tools that that you needed um keep in mind the ugga dugga gun is optional but it makes things faster now i know you guys are gonna ask me what are the prices did you gain anything in ground clearance uh, before we started filming this part of the video I went ahead and I set the the suspension by pushing down on the machine. Um, driving it is actually better, but pushing it down, pushing down the machine, that settles it a lot more. So we gained a total of two inches of ground clearance in the front. In the rear, it sits about the same, so it kind of does this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust up the rear just a tad and when i get ready to do that uh we'll make a video on it but what i was told to do because these things come pretty much set up ready to go now i may just leave it like this because it's not even noticeable really and you really need your ground clearance in the front for them divots and everything so what I was told to do was leave them the way that they were out of the box, drive it, and go from there. So whenever we do our test and tune video, we'll, we'll mess with it. But whenever I go to do the Santa Claus thing in this thing this weekend, I'll kind of give you guys an update, maybe in a small video or in a live stream or something of what I think about them just on the road driving because we're not going to be able to get out in the woods and test these things until about March or April. And that's due to where I live, all the parks are closed. There's one park that I'll never go back to because of the way his old lady treated me, which sucks because that would be the perfect testing ground right now I could go to. But you know what? You stick up for what's good for you and leave all the crappy people to rot, okay? So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put their park in a YouTube video to get tons of views whenever they can't treat me and my family and other families with respect. So no. Um thank you guys for watching. I know you guys are wanting to know about pricing. Now I know the, the price for these are a little over 2000 20, it's like 2500 or something like that. But for these are stage fours, 
And you may only want stage ones or stage twos or three, or you might want a stage five, I don't know. You might want to go with a, a stage two in the front and a stage one in the rear. I, I don't know. People mix and match all the time for their writing characters. So pricing is going to be totally up to you. What you need to do is reach out to John Hester at Hester's Motorsports. He's got a Facebook page. Links will be down below to get a hold of him and let him know that Redneck Garage sent you. And I really thank you guys for watching. And I thank you all for making all of this possible because if it weren't for you guys and it weren't for John Hester, th these shock videos here coming up would not even be possible, okay? So make sure you leave me a like. Throw down in a comment, say, hey, thanks, John, for making this possible. That really knows that uh, he's really appreciated and I'm really appreciated. And it just helps the channel grow with the comments and the likes. And make sure you get subscribed because 88% of my watchers are not subscribed. So thank you for watching and God bless. Peace.